Hi, I'm Pete May, co-founder of GreenBiz Group, and I'm delighted to be here on GreenBiz Studio today with Helene Dieck, who is the sustainability manager at Neste. Helene, great to have you here. Welcome, or, or bonjour, as we say in French. <laughs> yeah. Bonjour, Pete. Happy to be yeah. here. Thank you. Great, great to have you. So I, as background, I want to know how, uh, so you're a, a French woman who's living in Houston, Texas, working for a big energy company called, and fuels company called uh, Neste. Tell us a little bit about how you, uh, how you got into this. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I, I know it sounds uh, a bit like a big journey here. I'm actually uh, was coming from the Middle East even before. So I moved from the Middle East three years ago. And uh, and this is when I found the the, the, the position here today at Nestle. So uh, Nestle is a Finnish company, not to be confused with Nestle, the Swiss chocolate company. <laughs> We are a renewable uh, solutions company uh, uh, producing renewable fuels and circular solutions in polymers and chemicals. And, uh, and you know, we have, uh, I'm really lucky to be uh, here in Houston actually, because it's such a diverse, diverse city that, you know, uh, with so many different nationalities and background that I don't really feel like I'm a foreigner here. Yeah, and, and Neste had a tremendous uh, transfer is, or is undergoing a tre tremendous transformation from really an oil oil company to get into the renewable spa space. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, absolutely. Neste is a, is a local oil and gas refiner in Finland, uh, established after World War II to be energy independent. And uh, recently, about 15 years ago, we started to shift the entire business towards more renewables. So it was a really fast-paced transformation very bold and risky transformation, but today we are the first producer of, of renewable fuels and circular solutions. And now uh, today we have 90% of our profit coming from renewables. So really fast paced transformation. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that. So um, as we as we are all confronting the climate crisis, um, the climate crisis is with us with us everywhere. Uh, there are challenges and solutions everywhere. But I would say some of the hardest, um, some, some of the hardest to abate sectors, some of the most thorny discussions um, are evolve, evolve around industries that use a lot of fuel. So tell us about what, how do you think the renewable fuels, what kind of role can that pay, play in solving the climate crisis? And, and you said it, Pete, you know, we have transportation is such a big sector to contribute to climate change. It's 21% of greenhouse gas emissions. And it's really hard to, uh, to, uh, to, co to not to be longer dependent on fossil fuels. And our entire strategy is to, to remove uh, uh, the demand and the offer of fossil fuel with renewable fuels. Uh, and, and today we need more solutions. And there's not enough solution in the market today to... Uh, to, to tackle this big challenge. You know, um, last year, 80, 40, uh, 845 uh, billion uh, gallons of fossil fuels were needed. Only uh, 10 million uh, electric vehicles were available to, to replace those fossil fuels. It's, it's the equivalent of 2 billion uh, gallons of fossil fuels that were avoided. Uh, we are country, we are able to also uh, remove 1.5 billion gallons of fossil fuels with our renewable fuels, and that's that's still not enough. So we need more more solutions, more innovation to uh, to be able to really solve this uh, this climate crisis. Like you said, you know this is something that needs to happen today, and renewable solutions are today solution that doesn't need any change in infrastructure. That uh, doesn't need to invest in any uh, any uh, any new vehicles, for instance. So we see this as really a, solu a today solution that is allowing us to to take climate action now, which is what what is really needed and what it, what IPCC is is recommending as well. Yeah, and talk about scale because that's I know one thing that comes up often is uh, we hear oh there's not enough sustainable aviation fuel or renewable diesel. It's th these are these are difficult transitional technologies. Talk about how how they they can scale and help uh, help the climate crisis. Yes, uh, that's a very good question, and I think one part of the answer is really with regulations. We need more regulations to uh, to allow more, um, you know, uh, 
de-risking for the market, that there would allow more players to come into play and offer more solutions. And part of it is also in, uh, increasing the feedstock pool. So at Neste, we're looking at new feedstocks that have even greater greenhouse gas emissions avoidance. The ones that I'm really excited about are algae, for instance, and uh, and uh, cover crops that we use, you know, during the the winter, for instance, uh, that you don't use to uh, really uh, harvest anything, but to just to cover the, the land uh, for the winter. So those are the types of feedstock that that could uh, increase the 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 production of fossil fuels that have even a greater greenhouse gas avoidance compared to fossil fuel. Yeah, interesting. So my last question is is you know it it can be an awfully daunting time right now as we as we confront the the climate crisis um it's easy to be um to feel overly challenged by that um but in other ways it's very it can be very exciting to try to find the solutions what tell us what what are you most excited about when you look at renewable fuels and and the possibility for transformation so I really see that there's um, there's more and more attention to uh, to those uh, those issues, and there's since especially since last last year, I really see that customers and shareholders are really demanding a, a climate action now, and and you see that there's more players interested in uh, in producing more renewable fuels. There's more renewables coming up in the market soon, and that's that's really exciting. Um, I do feel like there is still some resistance from uh, from uh, companies to re- entirely shift away from fossil fuels, and I really hope that they can look at Naste as an example of successful transformation. You know, we we did the hard work, we took the risk, and it really paid off. Like I mentioned, you know, it's now ninety percent of our profit is coming from renewables, and I really hope that we can have more regulations that are going to help de-risking, you know, moving away from fossil fuels and be more into renewable fuels. Yeah, well, that's that's great. And uh, and so much work to be done in this in this space. Um, so, Helen Diek uh, from Neste, uh, thank you for joining us today on Green Biz Studio. Thank you.